the fuck? Uh, I'm just stealing your clothes. Took a picture where it'll last longer. Well, I mean, order from the fucking privacy you took from me. Excuse me. <coughs> Where's my fucking red money? No, it's money's coming. Okay, me and Ravioli got a sweet deal on the black market. I like the way you said black market. Point is, I need a kidneys. I already, you got one, right? Because I already gave mine. I don't care about your excuses. It's done. I'm giving you a new roommate. <laughs> My God, it's him. Who? I I don't know. I, I just thought it'd be fun to take television. The point is, we don't need another person taking up my space. You and me got the rent covered. You and me. No, we don't got it covered. I mean, I don't know what you do throughout the days or nights. Polish the shaft. Polish. Fuck. I need money now. You fuck. Oh, it's him. You'll see, it's, uh, it's gonna be nice. Uh, how dare you disrespect me, that fucker. Uh, I'll take them both, turn into a wall in a room. They can both reach a knife, and one of them must kill himself to let the other one live. They'll have no choice but to play my game. What? What? Well, David, anyway, say hello to our new roommate, Alex. Alex. Oh, sorry, I'll turn that off. You know I get excited for copyright-free sounds. Hi, pleasure to meet you. I'm Alex. Alex Corndog. That's the last name. Pleasure. Alright, fuckface, where'd you find this asshole? Drunk enough you found a 7-Eleven like you found me? No, you broke in. Oh yeah, right, first episode. Yeah, first season. Wait, what's four episodes? Anyway, let's just move on. So, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, am I interrupting? Yes. No. Oh, and your room is over there, and he's not allowed, okay? He can't do shit. Okay, okay. So is there like an order of who does what? Like cleaning and cooking? You gotta fit just right in here. I can tell you that. Uh, let's go, I'll show you around. Monster. So what do you think, Mr. Ravioli? Of course you would, he's your type. What? No, I don't have a problem with gay ravioli. What? I just don't remember Jesus saying it's okay. It was one time! Dennis. Alex. Right. Um, hey, buddy, how you doing? I, you know, just one of my famous midday walks around the house to make sure nothing has changed, and you know what? Something has changed. It's you. Well, if I have changed, I'm pretty sure I look the same as yesterday. No, there's someone. Look, you're not wanted here. You're not needed. Your bags are here. Get out. You're not wanted. Door's open. Oh my god, a raccoon just got it. Which is weird, because they're in an apartment floor, so that's gonna... Be Mrs. Butterworth with the door open again, you dumb cow! Oh, God. Anyway, oh, you're still here. Hmm. Ah, I'm pretty sure Emilio told me you would try something like this, and if I'd refused you, you would take all my things and pour gasoline on them and burn them. Oh, yeah? You think he knows everything? Does you? What? Well, fuck you! He seems nice. I don't know what to do, Mr. Ravioli. You respect me. This 
disgusting. Ugh, I mean, uh, I must kill him. Okay, fine, we'll frame him instead, if that makes you feel any better. Guys, jeez, but... How to frame him? Hmm, oh, I think I have a few ideas. That involves a banana. Let me in, you fuck. You wanna die? Ravioli. He still likes that uptight son of a bitch. And his perfect hair, and his perfect face, and his perfect body, and... Okay, keep your eye the game, David. That's for later tonight. God, he's as manly as they come. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. Mysterious. Yeah. I've spent a few days with them now. Emilio's okay, but that David kid... Oof. There's something special about him. Like, in a retarded kind of way. You know. Just give me a few more days and I'll figure out where Emilio keeps the apartment, please. I'll steal it. Make a copy. The easy stuff. That's what these a-holes get for having a guest with so little screen time. Aha! I got you by the balls or whatever. Do you have balls? I mean, whatever kind of genitalia you have, I got you by it. I'm sorry, but I got you now. Do you think you can stop me? Do you even know what I'm doing? Also, you have no proof. My word. That means absolutely nothing to anyone. Okay, that's true, but I, I will get you one way or another. Yeah, then I'll just come back, just take some photos, you know, just take some photos. Oh, I'm just sitting here, it's not proof of anything! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, well, I don't know, Star Wars 2, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, underrated. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I love the scene where uh, they're talking about the, the sand. Yeah, like I mean, it's sand. very quiet. Hello, gentlemen, playing a friendly game of cards. There's no cards here, why even mention it? I've come to ask a question. How come someone like yourself just comes along and pays all the rent we're due and then some, and doesn't just go and, um... Buy a play. I lost my turn at the top. Point is, how do you have so much money? I'm a male escort. Oh, so you mean you like pay people to like do the nest? Oh wow, that's, I mean, you know, it's cool. No, no, I, I, I literally escort people from one place to the other. Oh, that's like the worst possible, why would you, call, could you not have come up with anything better? I mean, stop that. All right. Mr. Escort, or oh, Jesus Christ, can I stop not calling that like, like Mr. Travel Guide or something? Thank you. Also, then why not just get your own place, hmm? Well, Emilio just asked if I wanted to be a roommate, and well, here I am. Well, how do you know him? Oh, uh, he escorted me. Stop saying that! No, but uh, I need to find where the train station was. He was standing right there. I asked him and he showed me the way. At least if you're gonna say it, at least m m maybe you got a prostitute. That would be better than this because at least then I'd be kind of proud. Also Look, David, nothing you've said has made me not trust him. I mean, so far he's been the perfect roommate. Yeah, exactly. But on the other hand, you, I mean, at this point you don't pay rent or nothing. You're just dead weight. I mean, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> Oh, come on, he was like, dude, you shady shit on your computer, would I lie to you? And Billy, like, holy fuck, the house is on fire, Wait, run! it's on fire from where? Run, Risk run, it. you fuck! 
Wait a minute. Yes, but wait, you want my computer? Yes. What? I got personal shit, bank information, my house lease. What are you doing on that shit? Get out of my house, you scum. What? You fucks! This apartment will be ours, no matter what you do. You can't stop us! And really, your laptop, this motherfucker has done weirder shit than I've ever done! Whatever! I'm out of here! Well, that's just that. And you... Me! I'll kill you first. Or get rid of you. I don't really care. You're dead. Well, I mean, he did pay the rent for like the f five months upcoming, so I mean, that's over, I guess. Yeah! But there's so much things unanswered, like what's this weird nightmare I'm having, and what's this new friends and group Alex was talking about? I mean, I guess we just have to find out in the next plotline or next episode. See you later, everybody, on the next uh, se on the new season of Dimla Adventures for cable TV coming near you. DimlaAdventures.com. Who are you talking to? Cut. Hey, uh, Dennis. Alex. Right. Um. Hey, buddy. Cool cat's in the kitchen. Uh, uh what? Uh, look. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Hi. I'm Alex. No, fuck. <laughs> Hi, pleasure to meet you. I'm Those are the two lines. <laughs>